Welcome to my channel once again. My name is Bennett Manzede. If you are new to my channel, kindly subscribe. And also like our content if you find it very useful, which I know it is. So today I'm going to show you how to apply for the Makerere University undergraduate program for academic year 2024-2025. Um, so as you can see there, call for application came out yesterday on 29th of April 2024 from the academic registrar's office from the website you can see eligibility is based on very many criteria um, one of them is um, you must have at least five passes from UCE that is your O level and at least two principal passes from USCE obtained from the same seating that means uh, you should not have different seatings to obtain two principal uh, passes, you must have sat in the same year and obtained at least two principal, pass, principal passes to be eligible. Um, then if you sat your A-level uh, three years before, that is 2023, 2022, 2020, we didn't have A-level uh, examinations in 2021 so the three years are 2023 22 and 2020 you can apply for both day and evening if you sat before 2020 that is 2019 and below you can only apply for evening afternoon and external programs so you can also get the way get the waiting um the waiting system from this link then any other information that you want uh, in regards to the application process, you can always uh, go to the main main campus, Senate Building, Undergraduate Admissions Office, Level 3. And then uh, application fee is 50000 for Ugandans, East Africans, and including even South Sudanese. Uh, plus 75, uh, equivalent of $75. <coughs> Sorry about that equivalent of $75 for international applicants. And then, um, so there's extra information here. We're going to see how to apply. To apply, you just have to head over and then type apply, apply.mark.ac.ug. So the system will load for you the application portal which is here yeah let me enlarge on the screen the system will will show you a login screen so you can log in with your email or your phone number if you do not have an account there's a register now button here you just come and click on it so under the register now you provide the information about you kindly make sure that you provide the right information the information must match what is on your academic credentials because whatever you feel here you will never change it you will not be allowed to change so please provide the right information make sure if you have three names you put the surname we put other names put the first name there and then the other names uh, are here then the email address you provide here make sure you provide a valid email address you also have access to that email. You provide a valid phone number. You can always have access to it in case you want to reset your account password, or want to get any communication from the university. These two addresses are going to be used to contact you. Also select the right nationality because your nationality will be used to bill you. If you select a non-East African country, be sure you're going to pay the international fee. No one is going to change for you that unless you create another account. If you select East African and and yet you're international applicant, you'll be billed fifty thousand. You pay the, the the national fee, but during admission, you will your account will be flagged. If your nationality does not match, what is on your uh, on your documents, you're going to be disqualified. So make sure you provide the right information. The date of birth should be what is on your birth certificate. So all the information provided here is very vital and you will not be allowed to change it. 
So I request you, you make sure you have provided the right information. So I will go and put my names here, Bernard, my, my phone number, yeah, like this. And then my nationality, I select Ugandan, my date of birth. You can uh, either type like this, or you can just uh, use these arrows and select, yes. So, and then I select my gender, my sex, that is male, and then I register. So, once you register, the system is going to send you, yes, a one-time password to your phone and email. I've already received an SMS in my phone because I gave the right phone number. I've also received an email. Let me show you how the email looks like. Yes, so this is my email. I have received my email from my career. And then you can see uh, your application has, your account has been successfully created. So this is my full name, my email, my phone, my gender, my one time password. So this is the password that I am going to use for logging in 165080. When I come to the portal, then I put my email. And then I put my password here, the token, that is the 16080. This token will only be used once. So once I register this, the system is going to ask me to change my password. So I need to put the right password that I use. So I'm going to change my password to the one I know and can easily remember. Make sure whatever you put here should match. So it should be the same password. So if you put one, two, three, four, five, six, you should also put one, two, three, four, five, six to confirm. Then you can change your password. So my password has been changed successfully. So you can see the running scheme, the direct entry for those with O and A level. That means it is clear for those with O and A level. Private scheme. If you have diploma, please wait for another scheme. This may not work for you. Uh, so if you have any other qualification, this scheme will not work for you. So it's only for those with O and A level. So you can see here that the question is running from 29th of April to 1st of May, 1st of June. So uh, East Africans pay 50,000, non East Africans pay 281,000. 250 Ugandan ceilings, then Ugandans also pay 50,000. So you can just click the button apply now. So the system is going to show you around six sections that you must fill. So uh, the first section is the bio information, which is information about you. The, the next section is next of kin information about uh, anybody who is going to probably stand in for you. And then the permanent address, we see here, uh, all level information, A level information, then the program choices. So you can fill up to six program choices, but you can only fill one form. So I'm going to start filling the form you select your salutation, Mr. Your district of birth. Now, things like surname, other names, email, telephone, date of birth, you're not allowed to change anything there. So you must have provided the right information. So the district of origin, district of birth, I will select Maracha. District of origin, Maracha. And then I select my religion. My gender has already been prefilled. Marital status, you select. Please select the right information. If you have a national ID number, you fill it. If you don't have, it's optional. Siri, what do you want? So here, um, whatever you see in aesthetics, it's a mandatory field. So I'll go ahead and select my district of residence. Let's say uh, Kampala. 
if you have any form of physical or any other disability please indicate here and uh, during registration you'll be allowed to provide evidence uh, supporting your 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 claim on your disability here so once you have filled everything and you confirm it's okay you save always be aware that uh, you can come back and update any information you provide here for as long as the scheme is active yes so you see my bio section has been filled then i go to my next of kin so next of kin i fill the right information for now i just want to feel about myself and then you save yeah my next of kin section is filled then i go to my permanent address i select uh, the right address and then i go to my O level information so if you did not sit for O level but you have a uneb equivalent result please select you did not sit and then you save after saving you're not going to be allowed to to change back this either to say i now have results so make sure you have the right you select the right uh the right information here so if you have your results don't click this one because this one will not go back so you can come here and enter your o level school so i can just search for my o level school then it will fill for me the index number the, the school code and then i i i select my number so for all level it is between 001 and 499 so i can pick my right number to form my index number u0073134 then my year of sitting i pick the right year of sitting so if it was 2020 or 90 some things all the years are there so you pick so let's say uh mine is there then you'll be asked to enter your all level subjects and the scores so you can search you say biology uh, if you got a c4 you add biology you go to chemistry your score if it was a credit six you add what else commerce if you did commerce you add uh, if you did computer studies you add uh, if you did um, English language you add if you did uh, what what as physics you can search uh, what else we have uh, physics we have geography uh, let's say at least have a distinction but it's not it's not mandatory so these are how many one two three four five six seven uh, so history then uh yeah uh, yes one two three four five six seven eight yes the other subjects you can also add them let's say so i have my accounting here then the most notorious guy mathematics yes so once you put this then you indicate your, your aggregate so the system calculates how many distinctions you have how many credits so make sure you put the the right aggregate you obtained so uh i just put something like 22 and then uh, put something there to vision one then you save so make sure whatever you provide here is the right information and it should match with what is on your on what on your result slip because once uh, you are admitted you'll be asked to provide the information and should it not match with this you will have issues so i'm done with filling the all level section it has been saved yes then i can always come back and update i can remove a subject i can add a subject so i go to my a level 
I search my A level UNEB center. Let's say Maryland, and then I pick my A level code. It starts from 500 to 999. Then my year of sitting, can just pick something like that. Uh, so <clears throat> I start with art. I go to my physics. I got economics. Then I go to what uh, mathematics. Yeah. This is PEM art. Yes. Uh, if you did three, uh, you also indicate then general paper. Yes. Yeah, so uh, once you're done with this, you can now indicate your score, uh, result code. Make sure it is the exact thing on your result slip. Save this information. You're done with filling the A level uh, information. Then I can go to program choices. I want to select my first choice. So my first choice, I can search. For my program, let's say I want software engineering. So if you want today, the campus is here. They are most, uh, the most important attributes are the campus, study time, and entry year. So if you want to study from main campus, <clears throat> make sure the program is always from main campus. If you want to study there, make sure the study time is always there. If you want to enter in year one, which of course most, most of the, um, the entries are going to be year one. So if you, for example, had diploma and you want to enter in year two, you select year two, but most of these programs have entry of year one. So I will select main campus there. If I also want to apply for evening because they have different uh, weights, day and evening have different weights. I can still have the same, uh, I can still have the same program for, for day same program for evening so let's say i want to select um, i have my software i'm going to enter in year one private sponsored i save so after saving this yes you see my first choice has already been saved then i go to second choice i can also say i want to do software but this time evening right so i want software so the study time is evening now. I can save. Then you can pick, once that is saved, you go to your third choice. You pick another program. You can search for it. If you want the architecture. So make sure you have done your calculations and looked at the weight. And also uh, you see whether you would be eligible if that weight is considered for this admission. So you can fill even one choice. You can fill any of the six choices. So, but it's important you always put your first choice. Uh, and then you can even fill up to six choices. You can fill, you can only stop at this point. So uh, I will just stop there. I, and then I can go to my application section and then I I consent. I Bernard Manzeri declare that to the best of my knowledge, the information I I have provided here is true and I agree to the online application terms and conditions of use. So once that is it, you you can click on it, it changes the color to, to green, and then you say submit. That means you have proofread your information and your application form has been submitted successfully. So you do not have any reference number to make your payments. So you can either preview the information that you have filled. So as you can see, I do not have any payment reference number. Uh, I have already completed. I've not paid. My payment is still pending. Uh, the information I filled about myself, my next of kin, my permanent address, my O level information, my A level my program choices, I filled up to three choices. 
so I can now click here and generate a reference number so once I generate a reference number good it has been generated successfully so this is my reference number I can now use this reference number and go to any bank and make my payment any bank that is supported by uh, uh, that is supported by you, you that is supporting Uganda Revenue Authority so uh, this money is going to go to Uganda Revenue Authority so if you want to pay with the visa you can always go to uh, URA website URA I think .go.ug yes it's a government website so uh, that's why you can follow the procedure to make uh, e-transfers on your on your reference number so I'm going to use this reference number and make my payment and we'll see uh, so once I make my payment I will get a receipt on my email and also my application status will be marked as paid my payment status will be marked as paid as well so uh, let me go ahead and make this payment so once I've made my payment I get a payment receipt a receipt confirming uh, a receipt of my 50,000 on this reference number so I can now go back to my portal I can now go back to my portal and here I can reload so you see I my application uh, my application payment has actually been received so now you see the status is now paid so that marks the end of it you can always go to your application history and you check so as you can see you can uh, print the information you filled uh, preview print so you can print this yes so you can save it as PDF make sure you keep this information it's very important you can always save it so you can log out and log in back to the portal so that makes marks the end of our um, application process so good luck to all of you I wish you all the best and if you have any technical challenges you can leave a comment or you can send me an email on manzede at gmail.com I also happen to be on the technical team to be supporting any uh, technical challenges but please don't inbox me for any other thing other than uh, technical issues if you're going to ask me to follow your application I will not do that only to give you a technical support to make sure you are able to submit your application successfully and this is done free uh, it's not at a cost so in case you're finding any challenges kindly reach out I'll be able to, to support you so make sure you subscribe to my channel give me a like uh, thumbs up and make sure yeah uh, you have your application successfully completed thank you very much for your time and I wish you a good luck